Hi, in this video we'll have a look at the basic trigonometric functions. The three basic trigonometric functions are sine, cosine and tangent. They are available in the math module. So here we have an example. First we have to import the math module. Then we'll use a base angle of 0, 0 degrees or 0 radians, doesn't matter. Then we're creating two lists using list comprehensions angles in radians and angles in degrees. Each of the lists will contain nine elements. In the angles in degrees list we have nine angles 45 degrees apart so 0 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees, 180 degrees and so on. In the angles in radians list we have nine angles pi over 4 radians apart so pi over 4 radians, pi over 2 radians, pi radians and so on. And now we'll use the basic trigonometric functions to print the sines, cosines and tangents of these angles. Let's start with radians. In the sine, cosine and tangent of x functions, x is in radians. So we can use the angles in radians directly. Now here we have three loops. The first loop will print the sines of the angles in radians. The second loop will print the cosines of the angles in radians and the third loop will print the tangents. Now we're using the round function to round the numbers to three decimal places and we're using this condition here in the last loop because we don't want to print the angles with indefinite tangents. Now this is in radians. Now how about degrees? If you prefer to use degrees instead of radians, there is a conversion method, radians, that converts from degrees to radians. Now let's loop over the angles in degrees list. Now as the sin function requires the angle to be in radians, we have to convert our angle in degrees to radians using the radians function. So the result of this is an angle in radians, which can be used by the sin function. It works the same here with the cosine function and here with the tangent function. So we are now ready to run the program. And here's the output. Let me scroll to the top. Radians. Here we have the sine, cosine and tangent functions with the angles in brackets. These angles here are in radians. And here is the sine of zero radians, the sine of this value actually is pi over 4. So this is the sine of pi over 4 radians. This is pi over 2 and the pi over 2 value corresponds to 90 degrees. So the sine is 1. Then we have 3 quarters of pi. Then we have pi. And as you can see these numbers are rounded to 3 decimal places. Otherwise there would be much more decimal places. Here we have the sines, here we have the cosines, and here we have the tangents. And here the angles are in degrees. So sine of 0 equals 0, sine of 90 for example equals 1, sine of 180 equals 0. Here we have the cosines, the cosine of 90 degrees equals 0, for example. And here we have the tangents. So, this is how the basic trigonometric functions can be used in Python. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.